Mr Speaker, when I clap nurses, I meant it. Yeah. His response... His response to the greatest crisis in the history of the NHS is to threaten to sack our nurses. His Transport Secretary says it's not the solution. His Education Secretary hopes it won't apply in schools. His own assessments say it could increase the number of strikes. The simple truth is you can't legislate your way out of 13 years of failure. Between 2010 and 2019, before anyone had heard of Covid, Prime Minister, the number of people stuck on the NHS waiting list doubled. Why do patients always wait longer under the Tories? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the new year. I want to start off with the refreshed chamber, but certainly not by interruption. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, he talks about the minimum safety legislation. Let's just talk about it a little bit further, because this is a simple proposition that no one, no one denies the union's freedom to strike, but it is also important to balance that with people's right to have access to life-saving health care at the same time. Mr Speaker, this, this shouldn't be controversial. This shouldn't be controversial. The International Labour Organisation supports minimum service levels. We, we have the, the, they're present in France, in Italy, in Spain. Normally, he's in favour of more European alignment, Mr Speaker. Why not now? 